Gary Topkin still has his driver's suit on because he was just out on the racetrack. He was one of the guys in the dreaded LCQs, but uh, he did quite well. Finished second to Tanner Von Doren and actually made it in the show. Let me see, was it four times in this car or three times or four times overall and three, three in the car? Three times in this car, four times overall. I, I ran Roush's car at uh, Wheatsport. Okay, so how was it? Uh, we were good. I mean, good today. Actually, we were good the other night. Just I messed up qualifying. I, I should have ran the top. Uh, mm -hmm. Time trials, I was the third car on the track. Didn't know the top was that good, so we timed out terrible. And then uh, heat race, we were decent in the heat race, but uh, you know the track is really fast. Yeah. And I got stuck twice on the bottom on restarts and the top is supposed to be. So it is what it is, but we're in the show. So. Mm -hmm. so we'll start, what, 37, 38, something 39, like somewhere, know, right? somewhere back. Doesn't really matter at that yeah, point, I'm right? So. Right now, I'm just trying to get the car ready to, to okay. race to one are they doing a competition caution like yes, they do with the yeah, small block? Between 95 and 100 laps. And that would be obviously no issues with fuel, so you'll no, just play no. it by ear at that point, no, that's right? That's where you're just going over the fact you can almost make this whole race on one yeah. tank. So you know, decide how much fuel we got to have over there. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, just, just going on that, and then uh, you know, just getting tires ready and shots. Like okay, I kind of like the competition caution yeah. idea because now you're not having a rush it yep. makes pit road a lot safer i think exactly. do you like it too well wally would be here if we had to put uh quick fills in cars and i'm sure a lot of like you know you're right i hadn't thought about that but you're yeah. right yeah it's you know that's three grand stuff mm -hmm. and then radios and, yeah you know so it's like you know uh, we don't need to do this anymore with these cars there's no yeah. if, there, if there's gonna be five or six pit stop Racist, yeah, that's one thing, but there's not. Right. So well, that was with the radios, with, too, with the 200s, yeah. remember? Yeah. Th back in the and day, you know there was. What? That, I mean, I hate to say it, but there was a lot of radio racing back then. Oh, absolutely. Radios, yeah. You know, so. Watch NASCAR at Talladega. Yeah, All they're doing is blocking, blocking, blocking. You can't do you that know? anymore, you know? So no. now you got to race. Do you like that? Yeah, I, I'd rather just race, not not have my radio guy tell me if the guy's running low or not, because I know everybody's doing it. Yeah. So yeah. now it's up to the driver. Yeah, so that is one of the better things. Yeah. One of the things I've been talking about, because the debate always goes Syracuse versus here. I think there were positives and negatives for each. Let's start yeah. with Syracuse. Well, I mean, Syracuse is bigger in life. Uh, it was an event. You know, just pulling into the place. You know, the whole track, yeah. the whole fairgrounds, everything bigger in life. Big grandstand, but you know. one thing that people don't really, when they're remembering Syracuse, they don't remember the last, you know, seven, eight years. Uh, I think they're starting to... You know, slow down as far as you know, getting less cars, less people in the stands. The track was a piece of crap. Uh, the place really was falling down. I mean, the walls it was. were falling down in turn two. Was it and really? Yeah. Yeah. And I didn't I know, know that. Looking at the electrical uh, power box in the infield, that was all messed up. Mm -hmm. And I know they had issues with the grandstands. People want to say they didn't, but I talked to enough people that knew. They get, they had to spend some money on that place. Yeah, they did. And they didn't want to do it. And, I'm not saying it's better. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't want to lose a racetrack, especially an right. iconic track like that. Yeah, with over 100 years of history, yeah, for God's exactly. Sake, you, know? you don't want to lose that. But no. there's 300 over 300 race cars here this weekend. You know, and uh, it'd be tough to get everybody there like that. You got to spend so much money to the race. Well, oh, remember the pro stocks used to park in a whole right. different area, yeah. so, and they'd come in. So, so yeah. this is, I mean, your premier track. So your premier race should be in a track where everybody can go race. Yes. Uh, you can take your Saturday night car and come here and race. So I think that's great for the sport. Okay. Uh, but I do miss Syracuse because, man, it was a ball. It yeah. sucked racing there. But man, it was fun driving around there by yourself. Yeah, but it had to be tough when you're you're like eighth or something. And yeah. you gain, and then they're on the radio telling them, oh, Gary's coming. And then they no, go well, again. There's always, right? almost always one lane anyway. Yes. Right around the yes. Was, uh, I mean, the last year... Actually, the track was the best as far as you know, fast. It was. Even though it was rough and stuff, but, you know, it's still, it's not the Syracuse that we do. Right. You know, okay. driving around that place at 140 miles an hour, yeah. you know, that, was a, that was a blast. But trying yeah. to race at that speed, not fun. Well, I talked to uh, Tim Fuller, yep. and he always said that Billy Decker was kind of the guy that you would judge yourself yes. on as to how deep you were going yes. in. Uh, was he? Was it? Was that pretty much how it to was me, when you were there? I mean, everybody says Gary Blue and Brecker. To me, is Billy Decker was yeah. the king of that place. He was just. I always thought he he could himself as a driver was one of the best. You know, just because he was so keyed up in that place. Yeah. Uh, when he set the record, I sat on the outside wall. I psyched myself up so much. I mean, I the first lap was great. Yeah. And I said, ah, I got to go in as deep as Decker in a three, and I almost stuck in the wall. <laughs> so I might have been as fast as him that week. 
Uh -huh. Always good to see you, man. And if yeah. something does pop up, give me a shot and I'll get you back on, okay? Right. Yeah. 